George Stevens was never as famous a director as people like Frank Capra or Alfred Hitchcock, but he left his mark on Hollywood in movies like Swing Time and Gunga Den and Giant and Shane and A Place in the Sun. And now in a new movie called George Stevens, A Filmmaker's Journey, his son, George Stevens Jr., gives a very moving and heartfelt tribute to his father. When my father died, he left these things to me. I looked through them, hoping to learn more about the man I thought I knew best in all the world. Here I found his wartime diary. He had written, Life is a journey, and it's always most interesting when you're not sure where you're going. Fred Astaire remembers Stevens' contribution to the Astaire Rogers classic, Swing Time. She had to do a lot of solo spins around there, and I did too. And by the time the two of us got spun out, <laughs> she was cut, let's try another one. But we finally got a very good, good shot of it. I saw it the other day and I said, oh, gee, that didn't look so tough as it was when we did it. Many of the people who worked with Stevens remember the experience fondly. Here's Catherine Hepburn. I was fussing around trying to find a director for Alice Adams. Well, I was sitting in the car lot with Charles Boye, flirting, I'm afraid, and talking when all of a sudden your father's face came into view this close to mine and said, I'm George Stevens. During the Second World War, Stevens headed his own newsreel unit and he brought back rare color footage of the war in Europe. After the war, Stevens came back to Hollywood to direct James Dean in Giant, and he also made movies like The Diary of Anne Frank, A Place in the Sun, Shane, The Greatest Story Ever Told. What we get from this movie, though, is not just that he was a great director, but also that George Stevens was a very good man. The movie's playing only at the Fine Arts Theater on Michigan Avenue. I give it three and a half stars, and I'm Roger Ebert.